Hi guys, so today I'm going to do an entry in my very occasional series called Drummer's Philosophy. We're going to talk mostly about why you cannot learn to play the drums effectively only from looking at YouTube. So YouTube is a great resource, and we all know that. You can look up almost any rudiment, any lick from any song in popular music, um, get practice ideas, technical strategies, all kinds of cool stuff. However, if you're a complete beginner and that's the first place you've ever looked for stuff, you can almost guarantee you're not going to get very good just from looking at YouTube alone. That's the difference between it being a good resource and your 100% only tool in your toolbox. Now, there's one big reason for this, um, and that is when you go to a private teacher to learn an instrument or any technical skill, really, um, in any field, what you're getting is half the knowledge that they have, the information, which is something that you could look up on your own. And the other half is you're getting feedback, analysis, interpretation, another pair of eyes, another pair of ears listening and watching you to see if you're actually absorbing the information correctly and applying it in an effective manner. Now that's what's really overlooked on YouTube. There's not really any feedback. You can comment and ask a question or whatever, but normally the YouTube drum teacher is not going to be able to give you personalized criticism on your application of the playing. They're also not going to be able to give you a personalized strategic uh, practice routine or progression of skills that you need to, to build up a foundation and learn correctly. Now there is a point in time where you will be good enough to actually um, understand enough foundational materials where you can teach yourself some skills. It's totally possible. Um, but if you're starting out, you don't have that foundation. The other thing is that the human mind, psychologically, is built to overestimate our abilities. So when we think we're good at something, we're almost always uh, overshooting how good we actually are, um, which, you know, I guess it keeps us from quitting. Um, it causes us to, you know, continue trying beyond maybe what's a reasonable expectation. It's probably like a survival thing, right? When we apply it to technical skills like learning an instrument, um, it's very difficult for us to tell how good we really are. So there are some people out there who have learned to play the drums effectively, completely self-taught, or maybe with just the help of the occasional YouTube video or a uh, method book. And there are also a lot more people who have tried to become self-taught and have failed miserably. And the, the biggest problem is those two groups of people um, usually don't you don't know which group you're in. Uh, if you've been self-taught, it's very difficult for you to accurately say, am I in the success group or the fail group? Everyone thinks they're in the success group until like dramatically proven otherwise. Basically, if you don't run your playing by a qualified, you know, more experienced drummer to see how it's going, you have no idea which camp you're going to be in. Basically, this is the same for any skill. It's not just drumming and it's not just music and it's just a psychology thing that we have to get over. But, so I'm not knocking any other YouTube teacher, I obviously teach uh, drum lessons on YouTube, so it's kind of just me saying you need to take lessons, but not exactly. Uh, I'm kind of saying just check your understanding uh, by looking at your background and looking at your, your real ability to self-analyze and see if it's actually going to connect up into you getting better from watching all the YouTube that you watch. So, obviously, I'd like you to keep watching my videos, keep watching other YouTube drum teachers, but just know, take a grain of salt there and say, hey, am I really getting anything out of this, or is this just entertainment value? And even when I've tried to learn things off the internet, I'm not 100% sure I'm getting them right. Um, just total admission, I'm not exactly sure if there's a difference between Gladstone strokes and the push-pull technique. If someone wants to, like, let me know, that'd be great. Um, anyway, one final thought. Uh, I'm coming out with a new book pretty soon, maybe in the next couple of months. I'll have some videos on that coming up for promotional purposes later, so stay tuned for that. It's going to be pretty cool. And um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to let me know, but my answers in the comments is not the same as real drum teacher feedback, just so you know. Okay, thanks for watching. See you later.